Hello and welcome to the Tabletops Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. That's a silly name I've given our unboxing series of videos until someone can give me a better idea, which if you got one, please let me know in the comments because Cardboard Coat Check is kind of cheesy. The cheesy Cardboard Coat Check. So I am the Tabletop Bellhop, Mo Tuzano. I am normally here to answer your gaming and game night questions, but today instead I am going to be opening a box this particular box right here, which should have in it a game from Japanime Games, Tanto Kore, which as far as I know, that's the best way to pronounce it. There's a shot of it over there. This is a deck building game from Japanime Games that is obviously inspired by games like Dominion. From what I understand, it's actually fairly close to Dominion as opposed to more modern deck builders, like there's only one resource. As you can probably tell by the picture over here, it is inspired by anime manga, that Japanese style. You've got your cute Lolita made outfits. If that's not your thing, that's cool. You can check out now if you that is your thing, or if you're curious, I'm about to open up a whole box of cards with cute Japanese girls on them, or anime girls, may or may not be Japanese. So here is the box, that's how it came shipped to me, all I've done is cut open the top. Yeah, it's well packed. Got a letter, which I will take a look at later, letter or possibly receipt. So it is worth noting, and the idea of full disclosure, the Japanime Games did send me this to review. So here is how it was shipped in the box, nice and tight in there. And that's it, just one box in here. Not going to need a separate deck box for this, it comes on its own. Nice deck box. Seems fairly thin. We will work with great heart when you employ us. Be the greatest master. Art goes uh, around part of the box. Name on the back. We'll read what it says here for people who may be interested. Kento Kure is a deck building game for two to four players. The players take the role of master of the house, employ lots of cute maids, and are served by them while slowly filling out their house card deck. But take care, the maids can become sick or get bad habits. When the game ends, the player who has the most victory point gaining maids in his staff, all his cards, is the perfect master and winner of the game. Okay, besides the obvious content issues that people may not be a fan of, the fact it is, assuming that it's a male playing, is a little, seems off, since I know lots of females who would be really into this game and this theme. Alright, so it's just going to open like your standard deck box. So this just looks like a deck box you buy at any card store with the pretty art on it. Rules on top. Got some glare, trying to fix the glare. For those of you in the chat, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask, but I'll get to them at the end of the video since I am recording this for YouTube. So rule book, uh, black and white. That looks like a fair number of examples. Extremely small font. I guess they had to do that to get it into the box. Not really a lot to show off on here. Actual rules are not very long. They are 13 pages, but at this very small font. So we have what looks like room for expansions. Over here, this is just filler. And something I'd love to see in a deck building game, separators. Big bonus points there, Japan Anime Games. We've got a bunch of blank separators. And even better, the separators actually have pictures of the cards that go in each section. Oh, yeah, I gotta get that shrink wrap off. Let's not be evil and blind everyone with glare. So this being a card game, I'm obviously not going to show you every single card. I'm just going to flip through some of them. Uh, these are fairly thick card stock, these dividers. They're not the fanciest I've seen. They're just cardboard. Two-sided, or sorry, one-sided. One-sided cardboard. And they have pictures of which specific cards go with each set. We'll just flip through a few of these. This isn't really showing off much art since it's all in just red and white. The filler piece is just a piece of cardboard. It's not foam or anything like that, but hey, it works. 
I know there are many expansions for this game. So here we have a bunch of one and to three love cards. From what I understand of what I know of the game, this is your money. You use love to buy maids. So yes, a ton of one love cards. Then we have two love cards, which sadly is the exact same art as the one love cards. Thumbs down on that one. With all the possible anime art you could have had, you couldn't do different art for the one, two, and three love cards. Thumbs down there. There. This is not easy to get cards out of. Cards are not sleeved, which is interesting to know, or in any type of like Svelophane, there's just one of these around each pack. So here we have a whole bunch of blue and green cards. I don't really know the game to be able to tell you what's going on. Obviously multiples. Yes, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of this one card. There's nine of them. Even more of this card. All right, again, I'm not going to show you every card. The main thing I think of interest to people who may care about this game is the artwork. Come on, camera. It's at least nice to see it's not all upskirts and bikinis. Oh, back of the cards, I haven't really shown that off. All look the same because, well, it's a deck builder. Can't really expect anything different. So that's one stack of these cards. Get another stack. Probably not going to do this much longer because, really, just a bunch of pictures. There's not a lot of text on these. Okay, the focus is killing me here. Come on, camera. They have silly names like Rouge Crescent. There we go. I'll just manually focus. And we have one of the bad habits. All it says is bad habit. It doesn't say what the bad habit is, but it has something to do with frogs. I have no idea what bad habit could mean. There's a horde of frogs coming to your house. I, I am at a loss. <laughs> I have no idea. So there you go. Not a lot to see here. Deck building game. Tanto Kore. Uh, it's from Japanime Games. Again, they did send me this to review it. Uh, this video will be coming out coinciding with something special they're going to announce. So for those of you watching live, shh, we're not supposed to know about this yet, but I wanted to get this recorded so we can get it up on YouTube at the proper time. I do plan on playing this game probably with Deanna, my wife, because it is a two to four player card game. Um, it's a deck builder, looks similar to Dominion with a rather unique theme. So that is pretty much it. Um, I'd have to look up online, see how many cards it is, but you can kind of see it's a significant size. Somewhere in there would be the player decks. Nothing stood out as that. Rule book doesn't look too bad. Black and white. Uh, one disappointment, at least from what I can see from in the beginning, is the money cards all had the same art on them, which, like, come on, with the amount of art they would have had to pay to put in this box, it's very odd that they wouldn't get different art for the three different money cards. It's an odd choice to me. So that is the box of the core game of Tonto Kore. And I'm still not sure I'm pronouncing that right, even though I looked it up.
So I am Mo Tuzano, the tabletop bellhop, your cardboard concierge. This was a cardboard coat check where we unbox this interesting looking card game from Japan and made games. You can normally find me here on Twitch every Wednesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, where we record the next episode of the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, where on most episodes we answer your gaming questions. If you have a game or game night question, be sure to send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. For more gaming content, head over to our website, tabletopbellhop.com, where you'll find news, reviews, uh, links to our podcast, and things like these unboxing videos. Uh, for Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo Tuzano. Good night. Game on.